What's up guys? I know I haven't been in front of the camera in a in a while. I uh I've actually been really busy. I found a new job. Um it's really windy, so you probably it's probably all messed up. It's windy. The reason that I haven't been putting out so many videos is because I really like to create a quality video or in my perspective quality I don't know if you think it's quality I really want to like put out quality instead of quantity if that makes any sense at all I'd rather make a video that you want to watch other than push out content just to get it out you know it's kinda but I have a couple videos coming out this one and then I'm going to prom with my girlfriend who's still in high school that's why I'm going to prom uh, on Saturday so that'd be a cool one you guys know Cam, he's going with us too. So it'd be a fun video. Let's uh, right now I got some things planned, but I want some I have something somebody go back and uh, I have something else to talk about with you guys. So uh, let's get the day started. So basically what I wanted to talk to you guys about today in this video is, I don't know if you guys heard, I'm sure you have, uh, this happened like two weeks ago, I think, two weeks ago, I don't know who I was looking at, but flight on United Airlines, um, first of all they overbooked the airline, so I don't know what that is about, I don't know why they do that, I probably should learn, but anyway, they overbooked the airline and then they were offering people like up to $800 to get off the plane. Apparently there was a doctor and they offered him money to get off the flight and he refused and he told them I have patience where I'm going I don't even know where the plane was going where was the plane going? okay apparently he was dragged off su last Sunday at Chicago O'Hare's International Airport in Louisville Kentucky so that's where it happened I don't believe I know where they were going I don't even know if the plane actually took off he was a doctor he was forcefully dragged off this plane because he refused to give up a seat. Granted, United overbooked the flight. And, uh, I mean, I really don't know where I stand on it. I, I, me personally, don't know enough information to even give a solid standpoint on the situation. Okay. When I said it was in Louisville, Kentucky, my focus. When I said it was in Louisville, Kentucky, I meant it was going to Louisville, Kentucky from Chicago. I think that's right. The doctor refused to get off because he had patients he needed to get to in Louisville. And yeah, basically. Look where I'm sitting right now. This is kind of awesome. Let me let me get off. Some people put a put a picnic table. Okay, so me and Hayden would skate this spot and we put this picnic table here. You know, you jump off the stage on the picnic table and then on the flat. But somebody constructed, well they didn't construct, they just put the table on here and it's sitting on the little things. And I was sitting right there. It's kinda cool. I've uh I think I have to go I think I have to skate it now, so I'm gonna head back to the car and get my scooter. So back on the topic of like the flight, he ended up being dragged off by his will. If I can find the video, I'll put it in right here. Get off my plane. It was, it was kind of like, kind of gory if you ask me. I don't, I don't really know why. Are you making a vlog? Yeah, why? Just wondering. <laughs> these, these, these are the people why I do it. Hi. 
<laughs> you should subscribe to me. What are you doing? I do, I do, I do, I don't do daily vlogs, but I vlog a lot. For what? Just, what are you talking about? I mean, uh, that girl asked me if I was vlogging. I said yes, and then I explained to her what I do. She is a four year at SVSU in graphic design, I think she said, and she's really interested in videography. Her name is Haley. Um, this is why I do it. I love meeting people. I love telling people what I do. It's, um, it's really fun. Uh, it made my day, honestly. You made my, if you're watching this, Haley, you made my day. And, and your hair was really cool, too. I like your hair. I feel like the guy was very, very disrespectful to the people that were, that were telling him that he was picked to get off the plane. And I, if I didn't tell you, they after they didn't get volunteers to get off the plane, they said a computer randomly selected somebody, which I don't know. I don't know if that's if they just said that or if it's actually happened. Millions of flights overbook for the reason of selling out, making sure they sell out a flight. And I don't really know if. It's like, this guy, <laughs> he had a sweet face mask on. Uh, I don't really know if it's for the purpose of actually selling as many tickets, but the guy was a real jerk and he made a huge scene. And actually, I'll talk about it in a second. I'm gonna get my scooter out. Apparently they did a background check for this guy that got dragged off the plane and he is in like a bunch of medical scandals having to do with uh, malpractice. I mean that kind of sucks that he was the one that got picked, had to make a scene and now they know all that stuff about him and he could have kept it a secret. But I mean justice is justice. I don't agree with any, I don't agree with both of their standpoints. United Airlines or the man that uh, threw a fit like a child. Um, I just don't agree with it. I, don't, I feel like they could have done it in a way better way. Um, I feel like they couldn't. Over, they didn't have to overbook the flight. So uh, I'm gonna get some clips. I'm gonna warm up on the scoot real quick. And then uh, we're gonna try to hit these two tables that I found earlier. Hopefully we have a good time. And uh, oh, I actually forgot. We need to go later to the bridal shop to f try my tux. That'd be cool. Sad to say we got kicked out, and uh, <clears throat> guy was nice. 
I just uh, helped them move the tables down. I told them, I was like, you know, they were, they were like that when I got here. So, uh, yeah, he's totally nice. He said I could ride anywhere. He just, uh, just not right there. I don't know if someone called him or what, but uh, uh, you can try to get a couple more time lapses riding around. Try to make the day not fall too short. I actually rolled my ankle super duper bad on that last, that last fall before the police officer came. Um, I'm gonna try to hit these stairs, just for now. Keep it easy. Uh, my ankle hurts now. Hopefully no one's break. Got it. Right now I'm uh, recording my phone, I'm my scooter here. I'm gonna record an Instagram clip on this four stair right here. I think I'm just gonna whip down it. Try to get in slow mo. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is at the end card of my uh, YouTube videos, and it's also in the description below. And uh, I'll put it right here. Go f check me out on Instagram. Got a lot of clips. Well, State Street as well, Rockaway Walmart, and I had two 15 count LED strip lights on there, USB powered, one on the side points, or side toe points, and I was flying at night. That's so cool. I bet people are wondering what the hell is up there. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's my kite! <laughs> what? It's my kite! What do you think it was? A UFO! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Finally, people thinking it's a UFO. Oh man, it's such a nice day out. Hearts of Fire, Streets of Stone, Saddle Line, Horses of Chrome. And then there's here's this drum hit from Ricky Rocket. Uh, land on the ground, go back up. I've even seen these things uh, launch out of a river. Oh, oh that's awesome. cool. That's very cool. Yeah, my mom's like, 